Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, one of the more favorable and exciting things to take place this month is going to speak right to the heart and the core of you. And that is the full moon happening right around the seventh of the month. This full moon in your sign will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune, but also standing across the sky from Mercury. It does look like there are important conversations happening with another person. It looks like there may be some negotiating, some back and forth that needs to happen, but also it may very well be the case that you have someone to talk to, to understand who you are and where you are, how you feel about it. But more importantly, what I do love about this full moon is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. Now that is energy of hope, of faith, and of magic. And regardless of what may be happening in your life right now, and I know that it is a time of uncertainty for so many people out there at this moment, I do feel like this full moon is one of these moments where you may very well feel like you've been touched by magic, wonderful turnarounds, a sense of your faith being rewarded, become especially strong now. So as you start this month, I'm going to encourage you to have faith. I look at the sky last month, there was a lot of energy that was quick moving, that was tense, that was unpredictable. And it's almost as if we get to this full moon and you release that like it is left in the past, at least for now, as you connect more deeply with who you are and what matters to you most and what matters to you first and may very well feel some sense of fulfillment in one of these areas, the kind of fulfillment that restores your faith in yourself, in your life and in your future. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 22nd is when we will have a new moon. I really like this new moon. It is one of stability and success. It is going to be this new moon taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your ability to access resources. So this is about uh, your sense of connection with financial institutions, your sense of knowing that people care for you, are there for you, your sense of knowing that you have something within you, some spiritual wealth, emotional force that you can rely on. These are one ways or some ways to understand this energy. But this part of the sky is also deeply transformational, but also comfortable. It is this house, as we call it as astrologers, that has a natural affinity to your sign. And so it's already an area of some ease for you. But this part of the sky is also connected to personal transformation and regeneration. The fact that we've got this beautifully supportive alignment between this new moon and Saturn does suggest practical gains and success. And there are some signs right about now, and I know a lot of us right about now, may be thinking about the resources, the finances available to us. I know that it is a time of uncertainty for many of us as we start this month, but I do think that where it is that you, as a Scorpio, have been trying to access funding of any kind, well, this new moon is such wonderful celestial support for ensuring that the process goes as smoothly as possible, that you're able to attract the funding you need, whether it's grants, loans, bursaries, uh, benefits you qualify for, insurance payments, they can come through for you now and help you to feel more stable, not just in the immediacy, but for a while. It is Saturn that has to do with the long term. It has to do with the big picture. And it is gonna be this energy that helps you to feel more stable. Now, I would also like to add, if it is that you're working from home or with homes, or you're wanting to set up a home-based business, well, it is gonna be this new moon that helps you to attract the funding you need to make that more of a reality for you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things are happening this month. It is Venus 
going retrograde. And in fact, fully four planets will be retrograde as we move towards the middle of the month. So there's already this overall reflective tone and that includes in matters of love as well. It is going to be Venus, the ruling planet of your opposite sign that is going retro in a part of the sky for you that has to do with authenticity, being more deeply honest with yourself. Now you add to this the way in which that full moon in your sign is lighting up Mars in your opposite sign, lighting up Neptune or speaking with Neptune as well. Well, look, all of this says that love may very well be part of the picture of the learning of the realizations this month. Now, as far as the Venus retrograde uh, goes, I spoke all about that in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So I'll just link to that in the description below. But for now, let me say that there is a powerful understanding that you are having with a month like this, especially with that full moon and that understanding that with the new moon, you can be more honest with yourself about your true feelings and know that you're going to be okay. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, that full moon looks like love may very well be part of what wakes you up, awakens you on a level of heart, helps you to feel more inspired. Now this could just be attraction or a little bit of back and forth, but it's enough to help you to know that there is love in the world for you. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, yes, that full moon is such a beautiful energy. It is so romantic as well. So it'll help you to feel that much more connected, but it is ultimately going to be the new moon later in the month that helps you to get more honest about whether or not there is something real here. With Venus retrograde, all is not clear. And yet you get that glimpse, you get that insight, you get that moment. And if there is something real here, well, that'll be solidified around that new moon. But if there isn't, it may not necessarily be the case that you're ready to make huge decisions just yet, but at least you'll know and you'll be able to understand some of the deeper dynamics playing out here. For those of you who are in an established bond, I do love that new moon late in the month in terms of your partner's income. So just on that level, that can be some good news on that front. At the same time though, we do have this beautiful full moon in your sign that ensures you are feeling very loved. You are communicating with your partner, whether it's easy, whether it feels like there's a moment of uncertainty that lends itself to the communication there is such a strong feeling of love being a restorative, almost magical energy now that it can't help but bring the two of you together that much more. What I love about this month for you, of course, it's the full moon in your sign that really is key here. It is that full moon that is going to help you to get honest with yourself on so many levels. It's as if you are seeing yourself differently in the light of the full moon. You're seeing what's worth valuing. You're seeing yourself more lovingly and you are realizing some truth about what matters to you most and what matters to you first in a way that sets your sights towards greater love and greater wisdom as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including the Venus retrograde special horoscopes and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.